Hey, peace, love, and light, Scorpios. Welcome to First Star Visions. I am Q, and I am here to do a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you are new, and you already know what it is. If you are returning, love is love is love. This is going to be a general reading for my beloved Scorpios. That means eat the fish, spit out the bones. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Bye. This is also a timeless reading, so whenever you find yourself clicking on the video, is exactly the divine timing. I have missed you all so much. Um, as I told you all, you know, about a week ago, I left a post in my community message, and I just wanted to, you know, let you all know that I was doing a lot of internal work. I was doing a lot of me stuff, taking some me time, um, and I was also experiencing a lot of uh, lethargy during this Mercury retrograde, and um, it had me feeling very fatigued, you know. Um, but I did have to, you know, center myself so that I could give you all the best readings possible. Um, so here I am. I'm back. It's the 1010 portal. It's beautiful. I feel revived, rejuvenated, and I feel like there is a beautiful message in store for you all. Um, for all of you who may be new, like I said, I am... Um, I'm also a Scorpio, but I am also a clairaudient, so I do incorporate music into my readings, and they tend to blend very beautifully. Um, so you will hear music in the background. Hopefully it's not too loud. Uh, we had just now Black Street before I let you go playing, um, and now we have... Um, oh, this is my boy. Um, Oh man, I can't remember his name because this is like a mix, so it has multiple um, artists on this one track. Okay, so this is Eric Roberson um, dealing. This is Eric Roberson dealing. So I feel like some of you all may have been dealing with someone that maybe um, you have parted ways with, or you are making that decision to finalize something. I heard finalize, finality. This is the final. Um, maybe the final straw for some of you, um, something may have transpired, something may have come to light, something may have come to surface that you may not have known but suspected. Um, I feel like things are good and going and flowing very nicely for you right now, which is why you're able to make such a, um, such a conscious decision, a very, um, a very clear decision you're clear on your decision i'm hearing um, maybe you found out someone was dealing with someone else um maybe you didn't like the way someone was handling you um maybe someone was taking a chance because when you're dealing i'm thinking of like you know in a um casino you know they're dealing cards so maybe someone was you know dealing you a bad hand and and you just didn't like the way that they was handling you per se um, but let's tune and tap in. Let me go ahead and call upon our, the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother, guy, universe, source, the divine, most I got our creator to shine a powerful message of love and light. I also call upon Baba Ogun, Baba Shango, Baba Ogun. Uh, uh, Legua, Baba Orula, Mama Yemenya, Mama Oya, Mama Oshun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I also call upon Archangel Mikael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel Uriel, and Archangel Metatron to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. I call also upon Mama Lakshmi and Baba Ganesh, Lord Ganesh, to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Give me the clarity and discernment. Remove any blockages, obstacles, psychic attacks during this reading. And so it is, so more to be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So let's go ahead, tap and tune in. You've blocked someone, something out of your life. Maybe you found out, like I said, someone was dealing with someone else. You didn't like the cards that someone was trying to deal you. Someone's receiving karma, Dharma. I feel like you're receiving, um, <clears throat> I'm hearing good karma. I feel like a lot of you, that's why life was good, because you're receiving some sort of good karma for the way that you um, handle the situation. So it's very interesting. And right now we have um, Michelle and Dale Cello Fellowship. 
So some of you could be like, you know, uh, socializing with other like minds, meeting your soul tribe, soul family. Maybe the divine is telling you that you need to fellowship more. You need to uh, take more, um, you know, take more time out, you know, to socialize, to fellowship with your fellow sister and your fellow brethren. You know, connect with other like minds. Get out of your routine. So divine spirit of love and light. Okay, I feel good with that. So let's go ahead and cut the deck. See what's coming and going out, going on for our beloved Scorpios. The bottom of the deck, and we have synergy. So that's beautiful. So you have synergy, and it says, I am drawn to you. So someone is feeling a very synergetic connection, bond, attraction towards you. This is someone who you, I feel, haven't even met. This is someone who thinks you're unique, rare, very beautiful. There's something very angelic about you. Um, someone feels that there's a very beautiful dynamic that the two of you share because this person is feeling drawn, very feeling very pulled. And with the fellowship, I feel like this person could, they could envision, like maybe they envision themselves, um, you know, connecting with you on a deeper level. Maybe they can envision themselves like committing to you, committing to this union, creating some sort of family dynamic, pulling you into their um, their circle, you know, you becoming a part of their circle, their everyday life, their everyday, you know, they, they, they would like to continue some form of connection. Someone finds you to be very precious. A very a rare breed. And it's like it's magnetically attracting them to you. There's also a very strong chemistry. I feel like the, the, your souls are kind of like intertwined. This is deeper than physical attraction. It's more like it's a psychological attraction. Like they're attracted to your mind. They're attracted to your, your the way you think. They love the way you think, I'm hearing. They also love who you are. You're rare. You're different. You're unique. You're like a weirdo. But they they love that. There's mystery around you. Mysterious elements. Like I'm hearing that term. That was a name that I used to go by back in the day. Mysterious elements. And that's what they really are most attracted to you. Like they feel drawn. So there's something magnetic. And I feel like it's a it's more of like a soul tie. More like a spiritual intertwine you know and we have chub rock um treat them right so this is someone that knows how to treat you right knows someone that knows how to be you know that alpha male that protector that provider you know if this is feminine energy being drawn to a masculine she knows her role as a feminine you know she knows that you know first and foremost she's um to be the lover the nurturer in that regard Women are the receivers and men are the givers. So she will know how to receive the love. Um, she'll know how to be appreciative of someone treating them right. And the same goes for the masculine because there's a sense of like um, emotional intelligence and being emotionally available. All right, so let's see who's this person that Scorpio is attracting. Who's the person that Scorpio is attracting? How do they feel in their emotions? The person that Scorpio is attracting. How do they feel in their emotions? So the overall energy is synergy. So there is some sort of synergetic uh, connection, dynamic, chemistry, attraction. It's like an, a, a magnetic pull. Something that you cannot deny. And I feel like if you haven't met this person, when you meet this person, you're instantly going to feel this. You know, you're instantly going to feel almost like you've known this person from somewhere. I'm hearing like a past life connection, like you're going to feel. This is something some of you have manifested. Many of you have manifested this. This is what you have called in. And now that it's coming in, it's very strong. And it says you will be the first uh, millionaire in your family. It is written. Manifest that shit. So how this person feels is like. 
they're going to feel like they want a million bucks when they come into a union with you. Because it says you will be the first million and maybe this person is very wealthy. And this person is going to treat you right because Chuck Brock is saying like, you know, treat him right. So this person is going to treat you like a million bucks, but they're also very wealthy, very self-sufficient. They're very resourceful. I feel like this person has opulence. They have some form of uh, like uh, financial um, abundance. They're straight. They're financially free. Like they don't really worry or concern themselves with money. I feel like this is someone that you have manifested. This person has been manifesting you into their lives. And this is going to be a very strong connection. Very strong um, dynamic. And the attraction. It's almost like when the two of you lock eyes. It's like you're going to know instantly that that's your person. And then when you two have a conversation or exchange words that's when you're going to know like this is the person but this person is going to treat you right because i feel like whatever you were dealing with before we have black street um saying before i let you go so you've just left the situation even if it wasn't just recently um you know you you're you're finalizing something you know you're completing some form of um a cycle you're ending something and so in that in that ending is this new beginning and this new beginning is like you're going to attract someone that you've absolutely manifested and everything that you have spoken into the ethers is coming into fruition so it's like you knew that your words were powerful you set your intention and now something that you have um called in is here and i feel like whoever this is this is someone who is very successful. They could be the uh, first millionaire, the first entrepreneur in their family. This is someone who has, um, you know, not only financial success, but they're very, they're very practical. They're very resourceful. I'm mean, getting like kingpin vibes, you know, almost like that um, emperor vibes. Also, like, like I said, this could be an entrepreneur, someone who literally turned a thought into a multi-million dollar empire. And this is someone. Um, who could be manifesting you or this is someone with whom you're manifesting Scorpios and they're, they're going to treat you right so how does this person that Scorpio is attracting feel about our beloved Scorpios how does this person Scorpio is attracting feel about our beloved Scorpios divine spirit of love and light how does this person Scorpio is attracting feel about Scorpio how does this person Scorpio is attracting feel about they feel like, you know, the cat's got their tongue. They're very hush about this. I feel like they're doing more watching, more observing. See that? What did I say about them being hush? We got four page letter and it says, these are my thoughts. Should I send it? And then it says text, delete, text, delete on the bottom. So this person definitely is withholding these feelings. And I knew that they were doing that because it was taking so long for the cards to come out. And I feel like they're kind of like a little immature, maybe emotionally. They're not. Um, maybe this person, you know, let me see what's playing. So we got RIP. So maybe they're going through some sort of um, ending as well. You know, because when you attract someone, you know, that you have this beautiful synergy with, there is a sense that, you know, oftentimes... Uh, the two, those two spirits or souls will will mirror one another. So just as I was uh, picking up energetically, intuitively, that you were completing a cycle, I feel like your person is also going through um, an ending with someone. Because this is what's hitting in the energy is child's play. So they're also dealing with uh, some sort of immaturity. Maybe that's also what you was dealing with. And that's why you were like, you know, before I let you go, was playing because you had to complete um, some cycle before this new love can come in. Someone really wants to confess and communicate these feelings that they have um, been bottling up. I'm hearing bottling up. And it's like it says family, time, build, connect, and check in. So this is perhaps someone who may be going through some sort of divorce or separation because with this RIP, and this is by Jean Grey, featuring Styles Plea and um, Talib Kweli. I feel like someone is, um, I'm hearing, deading a situation. 
ending, you know, cutting some sort of soul tie themselves. But this person does want to get to know you better. You know, I feel like this is something that this person wants to do and they are, you know, not they're not communicating. And I'm hearing um, I'm hearing that song um, by Till Tuesday. Hush, hush, keep it down now. Voices carry. So it's like they're trying to keep this hush. You know, they're trying to keep it hush until they complete some sort of cycle because they don't want to confuse things. They don't want to blur the lines. I feel like there is something going on. Maybe they're in a very like toxic dynamic and they're trying to end things amicably with this person while all the while um, being drawn and attracted to you. So I do feel strongly this person does um, tend to watch you from a distance. And this says thunderclapping. So they're going through something. Or this is what you may be going through. Because it says, like, with child's play, maybe you're going to find yourself, like, getting into some sort of um, verbal um, exchange with something. Verbal altercation. You know, with someone with... And my ear is ringing. My left ear is ringing. And it could be because you're going to hear some alarming news, maybe. Maybe you're going to find out somebody was, like, trying to assassinate your character, defame you. In some way, shape, form, or fashion. And this could be someone that you have since ended things with, cut off, deaded, walked away from. You're going to find out this person has been gossiping about you, saying untruths. And I feel like you might clap back. And that's why, you know, with this thunder clapping, that could speak to, like, you know, some unexpected news coming. And it's going to be in relation to or in regards to someone who is very immature. Someone playing a lot of childish games. Someone, and this is someone who tends to like also play victim at the same time. And we have right now um, Champion Lover by Shaba Ranks. So this could be someone that you, you, you're going to find out that somebody was definitely out there um, serving the D to everybody. Or who had Community P. And it says Thunder Clapping. So this is like immature, somebody very impulsive, someone who doesn't calculate risks, someone who's unreliable, in and out, flighty. This is what you're finding out, that you was dealing with somebody who is, you know, you're going to find out some some sort of like some things that you didn't fully know about in an ex. Because this is what's hidden in the energy and this is going to come to light, come to surface. But I also feel like somebody that um, is, you know, very attracted to you. Remember that person I was saying that you're going to um, instantly know that there is something deeper um, that you share with this person that's unexplainable. And it's because your souls, you know, your spirit, you know, maybe this is a past life connection. Your souls are intertwined. For some reason, someone's going to want to get to know you better. And it says digging on you. So there is an attraction. There is someone that's really digging on you. And that's a, like a secret admirer. And this person wants to confess, communicate, express these feelings. But they are, I feel like, kind of separating from something or ending something. It's 1818. That's nine. So they're going through some sort of change or trying to strategize a means to make some sort of change. And it's in relation to family. Maybe you're going to find out something um, you know, very, um, you're going to find out something very alarming, um, disappointing about family because it says, um, thunder clapping and it says prepare, take shelter. So this is almost like, you know, this is like a storm warning. And that thunder, that's like that Mama Oya energy. So that's like, that's an energy of transformation. So this information is going to change um, your perspective. It's going to change something. It's going to change, I'm hearing your perspective, like change the way you see someone, change the way you view a situation. And with prepare, take shelter, it's not going to be something that is lighthearted. It's going to be more it's going to be more heavy, but I feel like it's going to help to free you find it's like finally, you know? And with this family time, it's definitely in relation to family. Maybe you're going to find out that some of your family wasn't really rocking with you. Some of your family was a little jelly, a little negative, was um in cahoots. I'm hearing the word cahoots, you know, with someone that was like an enemy, like they were 
in collusion, like collusion with an enemy. Hmm, interesting. So what's the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? And this is child's play, immaturity. So you're beyond this. I feel like you're like, I don't feel like it's going to affect you because you know that this is like, you know, that you you already discovered these people were immature. You already, so if somebody's immature, it's like you, you, you don't really have high expectations of anyone, especially once you discover that someone that you, I feel like that you, you it's almost like you feel like you've wasted time with someone. And so it's like you can't unsee the things you've seen. You can't un, you know, do the things that were done. It's like you just see someone for who they are. But I feel like there's going to be more deets, you know, given, you know, more deets revealed. And we have R. Kelly slow wind. So this is going to be like a slow brew, like something's like this has been something that's been brewing, you know. Yeah, you're definitely going to find out some news in relation to someone's um, sexual ex escapades, episodes, um, just somebody who is just out there, just like I said, just very flighty, very promiscuous also with slow wind. You know, you might, some of you fellas might find out some of your fem you know, the females that you were dealing with are strippers and you didn't know. And we have words and spells and spells bind, mind your words and stay protected. So someone's definitely kind of put in some type of, um, you know, some sort of, um, you know, speaking negatively. Like I said, gossiping, you know, even when you speak negatively about people or you constantly um, saying negative things or have some sort of negative um, dialogue. That's almost like casting spells, wishing bad upon someone. The divine is telling you to go deeper. It says you haven't even scratched the surface for the outcome. And then with this, so, you know, maybe there is a need for you to meditate, to go within, you know, to kind of like get away from the noise so that you can like kind of do some reflective work or introspective work so that you could really assess things. Cause we all know, like the answers we seek are found within. So maybe you are looking external for an answer that you can only find within. Maybe some of you, this could be in relation to like even self-deception. And like I said, with this slow one, I just kept feeling like this is like a slow brew, slow burn. So it's like, you know, it's almost like, you know, this thing has been brewing. You know, it's been something that's been brewing. Let me get one more card for the outcome. Let me get one more card for the outcome. Why is this go deeper? So there's obvious a need for reflection, introspection, a need for meditation. And so it says remorse, regrets, shame. And it says they see now the role they played. And then we have they're tuning into your channel and um, social media, driving by your home, looking at pics, obsessed, secret admirer, stark or alert. So I feel like you got a little bit of everything here. Um, because, you know, this could be a positive and a negative card. All cards are positive and negative, depending on what's around it. Um, but I also feel like because this is here, uh, along with this, along with this, that this is speaking to that new person that you're coming in to union with. And I feel like it's been taking a while. And we all know that good things take time to create. So this is a matter of divine timing. But with their tuning into your channel and um, social media, someone is definitely watching you. And remember, I was picking up on the sense that you all were being watched from a distance because someone is penning some sort of letter or texting some sort of message or picking up their phones and not sending the call through or just wanting to express something. And that's why that slow line was playing. And I feel like this is a secret admirer. This is someone that feels strongly. I also feel like this is also someone who's kind of watching and studying studying you and that's been very immature and they're a little perturbed because you may have set some sort of boundary up and you have discontinued communicating with them so they're now turning into like a stalker they're now turning into someone obsessed i also feel like you have a lot of people who are trying to learn you um trying to study you but the secret admirer when they do tend to approach you when they do make the decision to approach you then you're going to be cheesing from ear to ear this is going to be like somebody like i said that's going to court you and they're going to be charming they're going to be very you know emotionally intelligent um 
and attentive to your needs so they're going to know how to court you they're going to you know i'm hearing wine and dine but they're also going to take the time to get to know you so they're going to be very communicative they're going to ask you know probing questions because they're interested they're going to want to go deeper you know this is going to be someone that want to um deep they're going to want to delve deep and because scorpios are so very um protective of energy pertaining them um I feel like you're going to be um, a little, you know, a little uh, apprehensive in sharing. But I also feel like with this emotional, intensive, uh, intelligent energy, along with your love is one in, a million, one in a million, there is a sense that, you know, there's, there's, there's two, I feel two players, two key players. One is someone who's very childish because underneath that all is we have praying on your downfall and then checking second childhood. And then it says not on your level. And right now we have um, Joey Badass playing snakes. So, <clears throat> excuse me. And now my throat is getting blocked up. So I feel like the person that can't communicate and express their feelings is this person that does have this beautiful attraction towards you. This beautiful, you know, energy, synergy and connection. Um, this chemistry they feel with you. This person definitely feels like you're a rarity. Like you're a gem, a rare gem. Um, you're unique. There's something about you. I feel like, you know, they, they find you to be like a mysterious, um, a myster they love this mystery, this mysteriousness from you. While on the flip side of that, there's also someone else who's very obsessed. Um, this person could be very jealous or very frustrated that you are moving on. And this is why this thunder is clapping. Um, and this is also why the regret and the shame, because I feel like you're going to choose, obviously, the healthier option for you, the one that is exhibiting the love language that you communicate with. This other person that's very childish is simply not on your level. Um, and this person is kind of preying on your downfall. So it's almost as if they're trying to sabotage, um, you know, this connection that they feel uh, that you are developing with someone. And that's making them feel um, threatened. Um, and so they could be like literally trying to scheme and plot on how to, um, you know, on how to take this, you know, on how to sabotage this connection that you're developing with someone. Because I do feel like you got two key players here. So with this yin yang on the bottom of the next deck um, that I will be using to clarify, I do feel like um, there is a sense that there is a soul connection, a spiritual union. Um, this also speaks to someone that comes in and balances you out and you them. Um, so it's like you both will know your roles um, and you won't feel the need to step into their role and they won't feel the need to step into yours. So I'm getting a sense that both of you are coming in um, whole. And when you come in whole, there is, you know, there's a lack of imbalance. The two of you will complete the full circle, you know, because you're whole. You know, so that's powerful. So this yin yang reference definitely is speaking to a very beautiful connection. Um, with this attitude of gratitude, I think you all are going to be very, um, very happy, very thankful, very humbled. Um, and there is a very strong sexual attraction, um, very deep, passionate, and lustful attraction. Also, I feel this person is going to be very attracted. Someone wants your forgiveness, and we do know that because you know there is. This remorse, regret, and shame someone is feeling because maybe someone's recognizing, um, you know, that they've been playing a lot of games, that they've been very immature, um, that they have not been very expressive or forthcoming or transparent about their feelings towards you. Um, and we have smells like teen spirit playing by Nirvana. So teens are still, um, you know, very immature, very young energy, just as I was speaking about someone being immature. So this Nirvana song smells like teen spirit. This person does have that tendency to be unreliable. Um, so they was, you know, kind of flighty in and out playing the field, trying to be that player player from the Himalaya, you know, someone who's trying to soil their royal oats, just going out, you know, getting into whatever they can get into. Um, they could have been very um, promiscuous as I was picking up as well. Um, and this is someone who could have also been lusting after you, could have been very sexually attracted to you. This person does, um, I feel like both of these individuals are very attracted to you sexually. Um, both of them do probably like envision um, you know, some sort of sexual escapades because they're tuning into your channel. So, you know, and I'm hearing that song, So You Like 
what you see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You better get a hold on me. So it's like this person is like, they know that because they're attracted to you, that others could possibly be attracted to you. And they also see that you're getting a lot of attention because they're kind of stalking you, watching you online. So they're already seeing that you are um, drawing a lot of attention. And so this person is like, you know, kind of like wanting to um, come in, you know, and claim you. I'm hearing claim. So if this smells like team spirit, this definitely could be someone who's just like playing a lot of games. So let's take a look and let's clarify these messages. And we got ritual work, invocation. Someone could be doing some sort of spell work, love spells. Someone could also be like, you know, because when you're like masturbating, thinking about somebody or, you know, when you're thinking of someone sexually all the time, that's also like, you know, doing ritual work, spell work. You know, because you may be picking up on that, like intuitively or maybe telepathically. Um, we got no bad energy. So a lot of you are very protective of your energy, your space. So that's why, you know, when you create a healthy boundary, because that's what I was um, feeling, you know, um, initially is like you've, you know, you've cut things, cut someone off and you've like completely discontinued um, engaging with that person. And it's because you were, they was giving off a lot of, you know, immature energy. You, you you felt like somebody wasn't on your level. You know what I'm saying? You felt like with, the, in the, with somebody preying on your downfall, you know, you could feel energy now. You know, you've mastered um, your emotions, Scorpio. So you're no longer, um, you know, like confused by your emotions. You're not allowing your emotions to control your actions. Like you're now thinking more logically. You're using head over heart. But there is a sense that there is some sort of ritual work. Somebody's trying, trying to invoke something, some sort of spirit, spirit. And that's why it's very necessary to protect yourself. Because with this preying on your downfall energy, um, you know, whoever this is, this energy is um, very, uh, I feel like they're going to be very persistent. And this is why it says, you know, um, thunder, clap and prepare, take shelter. Maybe you will find out somebody's been doing some of this work. But there is a lot of remorse and the divine is telling you to meditate, you know, maybe through meditation, going out in nature, being amongst the trees, you know, grounding yourself. Um, you'll be able to discern, um, you know, you'll be able to discern exactly who that person is. Yep. Look at that with that first eye. So you'll be able to discern. You'll be able to see very clearly. You'll be able to know intuitively because you'll be able to pick up on people's energy. What did I just say? Meditate to get it straight. So for many of you, you some of y'all may have some snakes around. You. Some of y'all need to like cut your grass because with that snakes and then it says, you know, it was like it said family time, something. So some of the people that you still are, um, you have a, in your inner circles um, could very well be preying on your downfall. You know, maybe you're revealing too much. Maybe you're sharing too much. And these people are trying to sabotage something. So be mindful. Many of you have um, a very strong intuition. You have to trust it. And you're also getting divine guidance. So that means that, you know, you're, you're receiving downloads. You're receiving transmissions. There's some, for, so, some sort of divine intervention from your spirit guides and your spirit teams, whether that is by means of seeing synchronistic acts such as numbers, hearing certain songs, picking up messages clairaudiently, seeing feathers, finding feathers, seeing certain animal totems, whatever it is, whatever it may be, um, even feeling certain sensations, tingling sensations, ear ringing, um, you know, whatever that may be for you, um, trust that. Because that's the way the divine is, is, is kind of guiding you to the truth or leading you to the truth. And we have the magic number playing here by De La Soul. So some of you may be seeing magic numbers, angel numbers. Some of you may be seeing, I'm seeing 777 in my head. Some of you may be seeing 1111. Um, some of you may be seeing 999, 222. Some of you may be seeing 444. Um, whatever the case may be, 1010. Today is 1010. So this is a very magical um number as well. This is a syn synchronistic day. Um, so, you know, today could be a very magical time. So just be mindful uh, because I feel like somebody's trying to keep you stuck and stagnant or keep you stuck in a trap or keep you, um, you know, bound to them. And, and that's what I feel like somebody's doing. They're doing some sort of sexual work, um, sexual magic, um, doing some sort of sexual magic, love spells, 
a binding spell, even a freezing spell I'm hearing. Um, somebody could be like doing spells where they're burying certain energy together. Um, so be mindful uh, because there is a sense that there is. And that's why the divine is telling you go deeper, dive, delve, go deep, you know, because it's going to require you being in alignment with your higher self in order to see this. So let's go ahead and um, cut the deck. I'm going to clarify these messages. Divine Spirit, bottom of the deck, we have divine timing, question not. So everything happens in divine timing. And just as I was saying, um, you all are going to meet someone um, when it is, you know, when the perfect timing is divine timing. And so the divine is saying for this, um, you know, this person that's coming in that you're going to have this synergy. It is a matter of divine timing. And I feel like, you know, with with I'm hearing clearly good things take time to create. So I feel like this is because you've been manifesting this because this person has been manifesting you. It has taken time um, because it does. You know, when you ask for specifics, the divine is going to do um, what the divine does in delivering um, exactly what you have asked for. So it's not going to, you know, happen overnight it's going to take divine timing for all of those things whatever prayers petitions whatever characteristic attributes you have manifested wrote down um whatever features whatever you know um whatever behaviors you wanted your person to exhibit looks um attentive whatever it is that you specifically called in the divine has been working on it and that's why it's been taking some time um for many of you you have been getting a little um You've been getting a little jittery. You've been getting a little, you know, impatient in this process. And I do feel like, you know, we, you focus on the self. Focus on you being a better you. Focus on healing yourself, loving yourself, um, practicing healthy self-care. Because as you work on yourself, your person will also come in um, more, um, how do you say, they will come in better prepared for you, you know better made you know better made for you and so we have moved too fast by iman omari so yeah you don't want this process to move too fast this that's why divine timing is here you know so this person isn't one to move too fast you don't want to move too fast because when you do that you know it's like you're not um you know paying attention to some of the red flags so the divine is saying self-love makes you more attractive so you're absolutely um are exuding and radiating self-love self care and as you worked more on you healing you at a soul level healing yourselves mentally emotionally um this is what's now drawing someone you didn't want to move too fast because if you weren't fully healed then all you would have done was attract more of the same people that you just released that you have completed those karmic lessons and cycles with so when you move too fast you make you know, you don't take educated or calculated risks. You're making the same mistakes or you have more of a tendency to, you know, to make a mistake, I should say. So now with the self-love is attractive, someone definitely is very drawn and attracted to you, attracted to your strength. They see how much that you, you've healed. It's like you, you've you you've gone through some form of uh, evolution or ascension. Um, and if, that's why I feel like this person feels like you're, you're one in a million, um, that your love is one in a million because we did see that here. And they're going to have you cheesing from ear to ear. But this person also is someone that's very attentive, um, emotionally attentive, uh, int attentive, intelligent, and available, loving. Um, this person is feeling, um, and you will feel like, you know, this person's love is one in a million. Um, and I feel like this person is very, very wealthy, um, not only financially, but spiritually, I just heard. So this is going to be like a spiritual union. I feel strongly like the two of you have experienced similar um Things you've gone through similar lessons in your relationships um, where you've had to learn um, not only your worth and value, but you've had to learn um, to not um, self sacrifice or self sabotage or to um, overcompensate in your relationships. You have to m let others uh, do their part, meet you, you know, at least halfway. You can't, you can't do all the work. And I feel like this person that's coming in, um, they have. They're financially set. They're straight, you know, because this is I'm hearing like this was a worker bee, you know, like they've worked from the ground up, 
And so they, they, they're, they're willing to take time, take their time to get things right because maybe they feel like they rushed in the past because it says move too fast. So maybe in the past they felt like they, they rushed things um, and they just dove in head first and they only found out that, you know, that was something that, you know, was kind of like foolish. Um, and so now when they come to you, they're going to come to you better prepared. So divine timing, both of you are going through some form of healing process and learning, um, you know, how to be better versions of yourselves. And when you love yourselves, you attract self-love. So yeah, this is beautiful. So why is you will be the first millionaire here for the person and how they feel in their emotions towards Scorpio? They do see your worth and value also. They see you as very successful, very intelligent, very wise. So we got two cards that stuck up. So it says don't fight the feelings. So they are, like I was saying, it's like they're bottling up those emotions. And it says mantras, affirmations, gratitude, prayers. So yeah, this person is definitely uh, trying to manifest you. Um, they could be speaking positive affirmations, mantras. Um, they could see you as someone who's been utilizing these techniques to manifest what you have. And we have wrong speed playing. Um, so wrong speed. So yeah, the, 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 yeah, so this person definitely is like, they know that they, by not um, communicating or expressing what they feel, that's the wrong approach. So they know that they have to speed things up because this is why they <clears throat> tend to like pen these letters and not send them because it's like, they're, it's almost like they're uh, intimidated or afraid because they do see you, how they feel in their emotions towards you is that you will be the first millionaire. So maybe they feel like you are you know, out of their league, maybe they feel like, um, yeah, they just feel like you, you, you are, you know, um, you're like a catch, <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're a catch. And so this person is trying hard not to fight their feelings because they feel very deeply. And they also know that they've been manifesting you. They've been speaking your name, calling your name. If your ear has been ringing on the right side, it's because this person has been like, you know, just kind of calling your name, having conversations uh, with you in their mind. You know, um, this person could be dreaming of you heavily. Um, if you found yourselves thinking um, just of love or being in a union, it could be because this person that has been manifesting you um, and calling you in, you're starting to pick up on that energy. Um, with this four page uh, letter, these are my thoughts for how they feel um, towards you. It says, you know, remember, you teach people how to treat you, be your authentic self. So they're trying to figure out how to come towards you um, because maybe in the past they, you know, they were more reserved. They didn't really reveal much of themselves. And it's because, you know, they were taking things very slow um, because maybe in the past they went too fast and then they pumped the brakes a little too much. And then they were moving too slow towards you. And this kind of confused things. Um and I'm, and I'm getting a sense that some of you may have met this person already. Um, this is somebody when you first met them, you just felt instant connection, you know, for some of you. And if you haven't met this person, it's like when you do meet this person, you're going to feel like you've known them already. Maybe that's why I'm picking up the feeling that you know this person already, because like when you do meet them, it's going to feel like you've known them. You know, you're going to feel it's going to be it's going to feel very familiar. You know, and this person is like almost in their head, you know, saying these mantras like, remember, you teach people how to treat you, be your authentic self, don't put on a facade, because maybe in the past they was just always trying to, you know, act like something that they weren't. And then we have right now, you don't know my name. So, yeah, this is someone you don't know. Alicia Keys is, is confirming that this is someone that you don't know. And um, they're kind of like trying to gas, like, how do you say, like, they're trying to pump themselves up to take some sort of, you know, action. It was just 4343. So that 4343 reduces to 7777 seven, seven reduces to 14, 14 reduces to 5. So this person is definitely um, trying to figure out how to communicate these messages to you because you don't know them. And so they're trying to gauge how to uh, approach you, you know? They're trying to figure out how to express these feelings. And that five is the throat chakra, which is why I'm saying they're trying to figure out how to communicate or express these feelings. And especially with this four page letter, you know, because you don't know them, you know. And so 
but they've been watching you so they feel like they know you but they're trying to like like i said they're trying to pump themselves up to come towards you and approach you in the appropriate way um and they're like you know be your authentic self you don't have to hide you don't have to act like mr macho mrs macho like you just be your authentic self they're trying to figure out how to say something so why is four page letter these are my thoughts here for how this person feels about scorpio why is four page letter these are my thoughts Why is four page letter? See, they're very hush. They're very hush. So it says no bad energy here. So they don't want to give off any bad juju and any bad energy because they're still healing. I feel like they also feel that you are very protective of your energy. You know, and maybe they're still going through some, you know, they, they, they may have some, some blockages, some, you know, and they're not sure how you're going to, um, receive their their uh how you're going to receive their uh they they're not sure how you're going to receive them <laughs> you know because they know that you like you're on some no bad energy you've created boundaries like they've been watching you so they know that you're very very protective of your energy they know that you are you know light you're light bearers you know you're a healer shaman light worker so they know they see you in this light that's why i was picking up like they they could be a little intimidated feel you're out of their league because that you know with this no bad energy you know and with this healer shaman light worker i do feel like they see you in 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 you know, in a, uh, uh, um, they see you in a, a, a beautiful light, like you're rare, like you're like an earth angel, like you're unique, you're beautiful, you're precious, you're, you know, they, they see you as someone very loving. And with you don't know my name, this is a, this is someone you haven't met yet. So why is child's play immaturity? I want to get to know you better. Thunder clapping here for um what's hidden in the energy see that you was vibrating a little too high for somebody who was immature so you you you're on a whole different frequency vibration which means you can see through any type of illusions anyone's trying to paint and it was just 46 46 which is 10 10 so this 10 10 definitely is that past energy that you've cut off that you've learned those karmic lessons this person taught you how to vibrate higher you're on a higher frequency you know what I'm saying? Which means that, you know, this is why this person, you know, someone else is like, you know, they know, they know that you're not with the shits. Like, it's almost like you have like a protective bubble. Someone wants to connect with you because they definitely, uh, they are feeling a very strong attraction here. But with this past, whatever was hidden in the energy, um, you're too, you're, you're above that. You know, you're, you're above that. And if someone is trying to pull you down to their level that obviously means that you are definitely um you're beyond them in their shenanigans and their games you're on a whole completely different level and that's another reason why this card here um was saying checking second childhood you know not on your level because when you have this child's play here you know and then it says higher frequency you're, you're on a higher frequency you're vibrating higher you know, that's what you're focused on. You're focused on good energy, good vibration, good people, and you don't have time for the games and the trickery. So you have lotus position here, and it says, I want to get to know you better. So that lotus position is all about, you know, being grounded, being balanced, being in alignment. And this is harmony also. So someone's like literally meditating, strategizing, planning. They're sitting and trying to plan how to approach you to get to know you better. Because they're digging on you. And this is that person that doesn't even know, you know, you don't know their name. But they may know you and are familiar with you. Why? Because they're tuning into your channel. You know what I'm saying? They're watching your social media. They could be driving by your home, looking at pics. You know, this is that secret admirer. This is somebody that's definitely like... You know, either you cause them to cheese, you make them cheese, or they're going to be, you know, they're going to make you cheese when they do tend to, when they do um, make the decision to come towards you. Because it says, you know, cheesing from ear to ear, the courtship, let your guard down. So this person definitely could be a little, 
um, intimidated because, you know, with this no bad energy, they do know that you're very protective. Like you got a protective shield around you. And with this connects, you know, this is here and it says thunder clapping. So you're, you're going to receive some sort of message. I'm hearing connect the dots. So it's like some information that's going to come in is going to connect the dots and it's going to give you all the clarity you need in regards to some X. The divine is also telling you to be receptive, be open to receive, you know, new, new offers, new love, new opportunities, new things, newness, you know. And we have Let's Get Lifted by John, um, by John um, Legend. So with this thunder clapping, prepare, take shelter, and connect. So what left, Let's Get Lifted, Lifted is, it's like, you know, um, high. Let's get high. Let's smoke a little, chief a little, you know. But with this thunder clapping, you're going to find out about somebody who could have been partying too much. Somebody who could have had drinking addictions, drug addictions, sexual addictions even. Um, so, something's going to connect, finally. It's going to click. So it says, let's, I'm going to get you high. So let's see. Thunder clapping. Why is thunder clapping? Prepare to take shelter here for what's hidden in the energy. Why is thunder clapping? Thank you, spirit. So these three, these four cards. So we have black tourmaline. Black tourmaline. Rejection is for your protection here. Hone your skills or your gifts. I speak energy and divine guidance. So definitely, I feel like with this thunder clapping, you're going to find out the reason why someone was rejecting you. You're going to find out that somebody had another um, another love interest. This was that player player from the Himalaya energy. Uh, you're going to find out that somebody was entertaining others. They had options. They, you know, with this child's play, like I said, this is somebody that's in and out, flighty, back and forth, got multiple options. You know, kind of playing the field, very promiscuous. And with this let's get lifted, maybe somebody made a lot of bad decisions. You know, very irrational, very impulsive, um, unreliable type of energy under the influence. This person rejected you, but this taught you major lessons. You protected yourself from this energy. And with this black tourmaline, Florida water, Palo Santo, sage, singing bowls and candles, I feel like this was what you did. You chose to protect yourself, protect your energy. And this was the divine guidance, the intervention. This was the downloads that you were receiving. And you started to pick up on this person's energy when you started to really tune in to what was happening around you because there was a lot that was going on. The thunder clapping speaks to like um, red flags. You not picking up on the subtle, um, you know, the subtle uh, flags or the subtle um, nudges that the divine was giving you. So the divine had to like give it to you, you know, like in an upheaval, unexpectedly something happened. And so there could have been, you know, some discovery of a third party or some sort of extramarital affairs or some sort of entanglements. Somebody was definitely entertaining others. So you, 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 you weren't protecting yourself initially, but when you started to put your guard up and protect yourself, it was because you started to pick up on those little messages your angels and ancestors were leaving for you. So the divine guidance was to protect yourself. So as you started to ask your divine guidance for protection, for instruction, for the strength to get through, they gave it to you and you found it by means of, you know, tapping into your creativity because you knew that your divinity as a divine feminine or divine masculine was creation. So you took your your, your focus and your attention off that person because you already picked up on their energy. It was off. Something was not right. Something wasn't calibrating correctly for you. So you started to um, say, I'm going to hone my gifts, my skills, master my craft. You have um, The Greatness here by Raheem Devine um, featuring Wale. So you started to discover your greatness. You know, there was some skill, some gifts, uh, something you were passionate about that may have been lying dormant within you that you started to tap into. And this freed you. You realized your greatness. You realized your soul purpose. You realized your life's mission, your soul's mission, your life's purpose. And in doing so, this now can bring in some form of um, stability, success, prosperity, abundance, opulence, expansion um, for you. 
So by you tapping into your divinity, as I said, as a divine feminine, divine masculine, this could absolutely bring in some sort of abundance. Someone's very jealous, hateful, envious, because like I said, they hate what they can't duplicate. So something that you do uniquely, something that you do like no one else can do is being, you know, frowned upon because someone is trying to study you, like I was saying. And this is, again, as I said, this could be a positive and negative card. So I feel like you got a lot of people that are like stalking, you know, these are people who are obsessed. These are people who are studying you. And it was just 54, um, 34. Um, I thought it was 54, 54. So scratch that. Um, but um, with that, they hate what they can't duplicate. This is people who are very jealous, you know, and this could be someone who you, you know, like I said, these could be family members because remember you had that family um card that was saying family time um but then this also could be an ex this could be someone your ex is connected to these could be them frenemies that you had around remember the song snakes by joey badass um so you know was playing earlier so you had a lot of people or they could be still some folks some unsavory personalities energies around you that could be really sitting around plotting and planning and praying on your downfall because maybe they see you having some form of success you know, maybe they are, you know, trying to steal your ideas. So be mindful, like I said, of what you're sharing, what you're doing. Um, definitely wear your protective jewelries, amulets, um, take your spiritual baths. You know, I am a strong advocate for, you know, protecting one's self, um, not just being out here naked. Um, definitely call upon your angels and your ancestors. I feel some of y'all are also getting like, um, you know, you may find yourselves waking up during those witching hours. And if you find yourself constantly waking up during witching hours, which is, in my opinion, between the hours of 12 and 5, not just 3 to 5, but 12 to 5, I feel like um, you need to literally like ex like ex expeditiously you really need to like do some spiritual baths you really need to fortify your spiritual protective psychic protective um shields because um somebody's manipulating the energy especially when we saw that ritual work invocation card and and this black tourmaline this is about protection you know this is not only the ant your ancestors and angels telling you to protect yourself they are also protecting you but th they can do but so much you also have to protect yourself and not be out here naked um you know so spiritual baths um hyssop is very good um black you know um uh you could put some um sea salt you could use uh Florida water in your um, water. You could put bay leaves even. Um, you can, you know, cleanse yourself with lemon peel. With the lemon peel, just rub it on your body after you set your intention. Um, you could also um, purchase, like, protective candles. I sell those on my Etsy shop. I um, make also, like, I have a new crystal, uh, like, I make crystal trees, but I also did um, an evil eye tree. So this is really good. And I supercharge everything, activate it. But um, you could do things like this, like have things such as this, like at your, your place of employment, at your on your work desk. If you have a lot of negative, heavy energy, envious energy around your job, um, you could use things like that. Uh, wear your protective jewelry, um, amulets, things of that nature, calling your angels for the protection. But definitely protect yourself because I do feel like somebody is trying to manipulate your energy. They're very obsessed. There's a, a form of obsession and I feel evil eye, like strongly evil eyes. So may every evil eye that's watching Scorpio go blind, you know, and may every weapon that's formed against Scorpio, may it be returned to send, you know. But no weapon formed against Scorpio shall prosper. And so it is, so won't it be. Because I do feel a lot of envy, a lot of... And that envy, like, you know, it, it it turns into hatred. It turns into, like, a sick obsession. So that's why it's very important to protect yourselves. And it's also very important to be mindful of what you're sharing. Like, if you are honing your skills, um, you have a skill that it, it leads to your greatness. It's very... it's connected to your greatness to your purpose and that could be what others have seen you know and so we have right now um evelyn champagne king love come down um so someone yeah yeah someone definitely you 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 make the, their love come down and somebody maybe like i said like somebody's just obsessed you know very obsessed so why is go deeper here you haven't scratched the surface 
for the outcome. Why is deeper? Go deeper. You haven't scratched the surface here for the outcome. Thank you. And it says love thyself. So remember I was saying every answer you seek is found within. And so this is about your love for self. This is also about not taking anything less than what you know you deserve. You know, so if somebody comes back talking about they apologize and you know that they treated you like dog shit um, and you don't see much change um, other than just them, you know, coming back and apologizing, that's not something you need to deal with. You also have seven. So this is a beautiful number, a divine number, an angelic number. This also speaks to you listening and trusting your intuition because that deals with the number seven chakra, which is your higher self, your crown chakra. Trust your intuition. Pay attention to the downloads, the interventions that the divine is, you know, giving you the messages, the transmissions that you're receiving. Love yourself first and foremost. Don't put anyone before you and go deeper because you haven't scratched the surface is telling you that there's a need to, you know, do a little more analysis. Um, there's a need to, you know, really um, go within. This is about self-discovery, but this is also about, you know, with that love come down. I feel like you you need to know what your love language is. Um, you need to know what um, what love what what type type of love you desire. And we have speak it into existence. Words are powerful. So whatever it is you want, you can manifest. You know the divine is telling you like you can literally manifest what you desire. You know, and that's seven again. Like I said, um, you trust your intuition. Trust what you're feeling. Because, um, and, and remember, you had to re be receptive, you know, so speak it into existence. So that speaks to words being very powerful. You having that ability to love, you know, to to have love show up in your life. And as long as you love yourself, you're going to attract people who are going to have that same, you know, approach in loving you. They're going to love you the way they see you loving you. So why is remorse, regret, shame? They see now the role they played here for the outcome. Uh, Spirit of love and light. Thank you. So it says connect to your higher self and it says travel. So it definitely feels like somebody is kind of like reflecting. You know, maybe they're also receiving some sort of downloads. Look at that. Strength, courage, and wisdom. Someone's trying to muster up the courage to, you know, maybe apologize, to express some sort of... Um, an apology or to even communicate something to you there is distance so this person is at a distance from you someone may express like damn you make my love come down you make me feel you know you know you make me feel different than I've ever felt you know and I feel like for you you know you're gonna have to like the divine saying go deeper because this may be something that you've never heard this person express I feel like strongly this this is the person that's um, from your past because I feel like you've created space some of you moved away maybe some of y'all just detached emotionally from this person and they're feeling that and so they're connecting to you know it says connect to your higher self here for this person you know for whoever is um, struggling with this remorse and so someone's trusting, you know, being instructed by their guides to, you know, listen to their intuition when it comes to this situation. And I feel like what they're coming to realization about is that you are, you know, you're the real deal, that they love how you love them. You know, you made their love come down um, more so than anyone. They're trying to muster up the strength, courage and wisdom. They also see you stronger. They see your ascension. You know, someone has remorse, regret, shame for the way that they've behaved. And they're trying to get stronger. So let's see. Let's tap in. We're going to get some additional messages from Kipper. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and shuffle this deck. Uh, Spirit of love and light. So you make someone's love come down. Next, I'm also feeling like, you know, like that street speaking. So this came out. So it says great fortune. So there's like some sort of wish fulfillment here. Um, there's, there's, there's a wish fulfillment. And there's a very fortunate event that's going to take place in your life. And I feel like this is all happening in divine timing. And it's something that the divine is, is showering upon you. It's almost like you're being rewarded. You know, you're being rewarded. For something that you've experienced something so for for mastering something 
you know, mastering a skill, mastering some some uh, emotion within yourself, balancing your emotions. And that's why divine timing is here, because now there is new love coming in. You have Mary J. Blige in common come close to me. So someone is definitely coming close. And I do feel like this is something your angels, ancestors, spirit team, spirit guides are um, blessing you with. This 26 reduces to 8. So that's like a wish fulfillment. This is like, you know, wish fulfillment. You know, this fortunate card is almost like I'm, I'm getting sense of like wheel of fortune. So things are now turning in your favor after going through a dark period, that dark night of the soul journey. Many of you have been traveling on, doing a lot of shadow work, you know, facing yourselves, facing those ugly parts of yourselves and, and, and dealing with it and, and balancing it, accepting who you used to be. And evolving and taking, you know, taking on the challenge to improve and become better versions of yourselves. This is why you're receiving some sort of blessing. Great fortune is coming in. And the divine is saying it's happening in divine time and question not. Many of you are going to be very abundant, very financially stable. This could be why this person is seeing you as the first millionaire in your family because you very well could be. Some of you all could win some sort of lottery, sweepstakes. Some of you could get a, uh, some sort of check, a will, an insurance payout, or some sort of um, some sort of um, win some sort of legal battle. It's just like I feel like there's this this there's, there's a blessing coming in. This is like it's almost like a miracle, and it's gonna happen. Um, very synergetically where this love ship is coming in in addition to some sort of uh, situation where there's this financial um, a financial blessing and with come close to me um, and that synergy is it's definitely telling me that you know you're gonna have a very beautiful loving connection a spiritual union and spiritual dynamic with this person that's coming in I feel like y'all are both going to speak the love language like the connection is going to be so powerful so strong it's like the first date is going to feel like y'all knew each other forever because there's going to be so many different conversations and you're going to just get lost in time you're going to just get lost in the conversation and before you know it you're going to look at the clock and five hours done went by for some of you if you're on the phone at night you're going to find yourselves you know, literally watching the sunrise together over the phone, you know, it's just going to be one of those connections where it's just going to be so magnetic, so strong. And, and, and I feel like this is just, you know, this, this dynamic is going to make y'all closer because every encounter, every conversation is going to just have that same effect, that same impact. The family room, many of you are going to become partners with this person. Like there's going to be a commitment, a marriage, you know, you're going to share a home with this family room. I definitely feel like, you know, this person can see you. You know, like I was saying, like this person has been manifesting. You and you have been manifesting this type of person. So with these mantras, you know, daily affirmations and just speaking positive, you know, words into the ethers. I feel like now it's coming into fruition. And this person who has been fighting these feelings, they are not going to be able to fight it anymore because they're going to know. See that? This is going to be a gift to you all. This person is going to see you as a gift. They're going to offer you a gift. This could be like a ring. You know, this could be an engagement ring. So why is you will be the first millionaire here for how this person feels in their emotions towards Scorpio? The person that Scorpio is attracting and how they feel in their emotions towards Scorpio. Why is you will be the first millionaire And so we have easy to love here. And this is by Maxi Priest. So yeah, they, they definitely feel you're easy to love. You make it easy to love you. This person is very reserved. They're very closed. Like emotionally, they don't express these things. They're very shy. I get a sense of shyness, you know. And it could come off to you as immature because you're very expressive and very open. You're like very open about how you feel and what you feel. Scorpios. So these three, I'm not taking 50 cards. Why is your, you will be the first millionaire in your family for how this person feels in their emotions towards Scorpio? Okay, these these two. So it says privileged lady. See that? So privileged lady, this breaks down um, to three, this 12. So they see you as the divine feminine, just like I said. And they could be intimidated because they see you as very successful. 
And this is why it says you will be the first millionaire. So they see you as very privileged. And that could be because you just received some sort of fortune, some sort of abundance, some sort of prosperity, like a spiritual blessing or um, financial blessing, some sort of new opportunity. And this person is saying, like, you know, you're easy to love in addition to that. And it's because you're beautiful, you're loving, you're nurturing. This is like that divine feminine energy. So you're very successful and abundant all on your own. You know your worth, know your value. You're also, you know, very creative. Some of you, they can see you as the mother to their children. You know, they can see you as someone that they can um, have children with, bear, um, you know, have a family, create a family, you know, create a legacy, build, you know, um, generational wealth with, you know, someone they would be willing to compromise, be a support system. And it does um, with easy to love. They will, they feel like you're easy to love, you know, and we also have high honors. So with this card, you know, here, they feel like I said, like you are, you know, on, a, you know, you, you may be in a different league, you know, so they don't know how to come in. Um, and that's why they're struggling with expressing these feelings because they see you on a completely different level. This person wants to marry you. I do feel like strong marriage and we have distant horizons. So something beautiful is in, you know, in in the making and with this this anchor is being broken up so it's almost like i said this person is is kind of like cutting free because remember we had um um r.i.p playing <clears throat> in the beginning by gene gray see my throat gets blocked blocked whenever i speak to this person and i'm trying i'm about to clarify the four page letter so this is what this person does like it's like they want to express these things they want to say these things but it's like they get choked up they get block they bottle these feelings these emotions up why because they are intimidated they know that you're very protective of your space they also see you as someone who knows their worth and value you're very powerful you know but they also know that you are loving nurturing caring which is why they are they say that you know you're easy to love you have a very maternal instinct and so this high honors or this distant horizon i feel like in the distant horizon like this person will finally make that um, you know, take that first step to take um, action towards you. But it's like they're breaking free from something that has been keeping them bound and stuck. You know, anchors tend to keep you bound. They keep, you know, ships and boats and yachts and, you know, all of these um, 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 automobiles, you know, water mobiles, if you will, um, anchored so that they don't just float off. So I feel like this person has been like really... Um, <clears throat> they've been going through something difficult because we have Hard Knock Life by Jay-Z playing. So this person has been going through something difficult, but they finally broke free. And so it's like in the distant horizon, um, they could see a new beginning, a new future. They, they're they still trying to like, you know, trying to gauge how to come in because they don't want to bring baggage. They don't want to bring in any of their um, toxicity, maybe something they've been ending because that RIP was playing so I was picking up that the two of you the person that's coming in y'all were mirroring one another in terms of the experiences you all were going through um and I feel like both of you were you know that's why this divine timing is here because I feel like the both of you were cutting free a karmic um you know completing a karmic lesson or completing a karmic relationship or cycle um and so this person now is like you know they're seeing things um more clearer, you know, they're, they're freeing themselves mentally, emotionally, and, um, you know, and so this anchor would allude to the fact that now they're willing to take some sort of action. And this ship is showing me that, you know, this person is um, at a distance, um, which could also be a challenge, but I feel like um, they are going to make that effort to uh, reach out. So why is four page letter, no bad energy here? Why is four page letter, no bad energy? And this person was going through something difficult. I feel like both of you, you know, and that's why this, you know, it's a hard knock life. So they're trying to be very mindful not to bring baggage, you know, not to bring you any baggage, not to bring any, you know, toxicity your way because they know you're very protective of your energy. They know you've been through a lot also because, like I said, they've been kind of watching you at a distance. And so we have journey. What did I say about this person being at a distance from you? And so this person is willing to, um, you know, take some sort of um, action and come towards you. 
you know, with this 10, they've been on a spiritual journey as well. And they're ending some sort of cycle, which is why they're now prepared and ready to move on. So it's like when, when you look here, there's a man and a woman right there. So it's like, and then there's this man here by himself. So this person has been clearing up and closing up a cycle and they're ready and prepared to travel alone. They're ready and prepared to come and claim what they feel is theirs. It's been a hard journey. It's a hard knock life. 10 always alludes to the fact of all the lessons, you know, carrying the burdens of lessons and having to go through, you know, these um, experiences to, to discover how to be better versions of yourselves. And I feel like with this person, they're making a decision that they don't want to be attached to someone or something that has, you know, that has been very toxic in their lives. You know, maybe they've discovered a lot of, um, you know, a lot of what they were investing in was just an illusion, you know, but this person is very willing, willing and ready. Their bags are packed. So someone could be moving out of a home. Someone could be um, relocating. And with this no bad energy, it's like they're, they're making a decision to end something. Every ending denotes a new beginning. So they're ready and prepared to come to a Jew. Because they're, you know, this is could be why they're they're penning this four-page letter but not sending it. Why they're dialing a number and not sending it through. Why they are typing up text messages, you know, and and not um, forwarding it. Because at the end of the day, it's like they're trying to make sure to to come in with a clear conscience, with you know, good energy, you know, because they 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 got one thing on their mind and that's marriage. This person is very much. What did I say? Like this person is very much prepared to um, come and invest long-term commitments, marriage, children, family, happy house, happy wives, happy house. You know, this is someone that wants that happily ever after, someone that is thinking of, you know, long-term. And then we have um, Killing Them um, by Jean Grey and Fett Feature and Pharaoh March. So this is, this is going to kill somebody. You know, this is going to really break someone. That's why there's remorse, shame, regret. Because I feel like that past person that you was dealing with that you had ended the cycle, this person that was playing games with you, and they're going to have to witness you coming into some sort of partnership. Um, and this three represents that empress, that divine feminine energy. And someone else sees that you are on that frequency, that you're on a higher vibration. Like you are um, too, you're, like you're mature you know and this person you know is coming in to to court you they're coming in to claim you because they know that you're a rare find whereas this past person didn't appreciate what they had they didn't see you for the jewel the gem the rare individual that you were and they will now which is why they're going to see you know they're going to have a lot of regret and shame because someone's coming to claim you it's very clear to me so why is child's play immaturity high frequency here for what's hidden in the energy why is child's play immaturity so this one is sticking out and we have message what did i say so there's going to be a message you know and this message this person's finally making the decision to you know pen you this letter this letter this four page letter, you know, they, they, it says, uh, these are my thoughts. Someone's finally going to send it to you. They're very prepared. You see how he's got it in the envelope. So he's wrote the letter. He's written the letter. The phone is there. So they may call you. You know, you could get a message by any of these means, by a phone call where they will directly phone call you and express these feelings. Because in the past, maybe somebody was being very immature. They was, you know, kind of hiding their feelings. Um, there's also going to be either a letter being sent. You may find that someone actually penned a letter and wrote it to you and mailed it off. Someone could be communicating to you telepathically, intuitively, or via your dreams, because this is the number seven and that deals with the crown chakra. So trust your intuition. I feel that there is like, you know, with this higher frequency, this person definitely feels like you are, um, you're definitely, um, like you're a rare find and with this killing them it's like it's going to kill that past person that was being immature i feel like it's also saying it's killing this person not to send this letter not to communicate these feelings because it's like they're the ones suffering i feel like scorpios y'all are good either way because y'all have been so busy like and preoccupied with working on yourselves healing working on projects doing just different things to master yourselves and your craft that you haven't even been thinking about love. You haven't really been, you know, thinking about relationships. You've been just like doing your due diligence to make sure that you are, you know, 
that you are healthy mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. And with this family room, this person, I'm telling you, like this this individual that wants to get you know you better, like they're envisioning this marriage, they're envisioning family, they're envisioning envisioning that happily ever after. But there are they are trying to, you know, plan and strategize the perfect way to come in, the perfect words to say. This message is is definitely confirming that. They're trying to how trying to figure out how to, you know perfectly express this because they feel that you are highly intuitive, very intelligent, you know, like you know your worth and value, that you're very strong willed, strong mind, you're beautiful, you can have anyone you want. This is how they feel. You're attractive, you're fine, whatever it is. And it's like they're trying to figure out how to come in, how to 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 take action. And with um Dollar Freak by Erica Badu, that some of them might call you, you know? They might call you. I'm hearing during um, booty time hours, you know, late at night. Because this person might be um, nocturnal. So they may stay up late. You know, this could be someone that tends to be like, um, you know, more of a night body. You know, a night person. So why is I want to get to know you better lotus position here for what's hidden in the energy? Okay, I'm taking the one that's... Um, in the upright and put those back so we have expectation so it's almost like you're expecting this because like I said when you tap into your intuition when you take those times to meditate you get things straight you get the downloads divine interventions you get the transmissions you get that nudge from spirit it's like you're being spiritually guided and I feel like you're expecting this it's like you wait you sitting in the window waiting for the car to pull up you sitting in the window waiting for this person to arrive you know what I'm saying? Because this person that wants to get to know you better, I feel like you can feel intuitively, like like I was picking up, like there's, there's telepathic or intuitive messages being sent, you know? And I feel like with this lotus position, that's speaking to you being tapped into your higher self, you know, being in alignment with your higher self. This higher frequency also speaks to you being highly intuitive, very psychic, clairaudient, clairvoyant. Very down to like you 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 tapped in, so you're expecting. You have this expectation that this person is coming in. Why? Because you know you manifested it, and you could see that this feminine energy, you know, this could be feminine or masculine. Just you know, switch the genders. This person definitely, um, you know, you could tell that she's been through some things. You know, maybe there was a a, a, a period where because she's looking into the past, so you had high expectations of someone with whom you know because she's looking directly at this child child's play immaturity card so it's like you had expectations from this person um from your past you know to to um treat you better but i feel like you know what happened was you know you 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 were just meant to learn from that individual how to better treat yourselves you was meant to learn how to love you you know how to not you know overcompensate in relationships but how to delegate what you need how to communicate your needs your wants your desires you know, and also how to, you know, teach people how to treat you better. You know, so with this card here, there was a whole lot of reflecting on the past, learning from the past mistakes. So now that you're at this 28, that definitely speaks to an ending. An ending of you, you know, because it's okay to reflect on the past and to look back in awareness. But as long as you don't stay stuck there, it's just to learn um, what not to do moving forward. And I feel like that's what you're doing is reflecting a lot on your past actions and, and, and things that you could have um, done to, to self-sabotage and moving forward. You're going to move on. And I feel like, you know, this deep, um, deep reflection and meditation is going to bring you to a sense of illumination and clarity. But I do feel like there's also someone um, that's digging you and you're expecting them to come in. Oh, yes, you are. This wealthy man is here. This man is coming in to bring stability. You're expecting this person. This person is coming in. They got a whole lot of money. This person is abundant as are you. I feel like the two of you, that's why this high honor is here. Because the privileged lady and then you have the, um, the wealthy man, that's a suit. So the two of you are both bringing something to the table. So you both are self-sufficient and, and very abundant and successful in your own right. But when you come together, this is going to be like that power couple. That's why we got this high honors here. So that both of you like coming into union, this person that's coming in, I'm telling you, this person, you, you're expecting someone that's going to come in and bring some sort of stability. And with baby, baby, don't cry. I feel like somebody, your ex, an ex lover, someone that you've 
ended things with they're going to be crying because it's like unfortunately you know that that cycle has ended and now you're coming into a new chapter in your lives and this person likes what they see and and if you look here there's almost like there's a time uh clock here on the table it's a very unique type of time clock but it is and that's why this divine timing is here so this person that's coming in in divine timing and the divine is saying question not and then we also had that synergy card, you know, telling you like this is this person, you're going to have a lot of synergy, a lot of chemistry. And it's because this person is a very mature man, very, very alpha male ash, you know, and this is a very, you know, alpha male female. You know, this is a feminine energy that knows her worth, knows her value. She's also very maternal, very you know, um, nurturing, caring, loving, and this masculine is the type that's very much a protector, a provider, a support system. He's very intelligent, very inter. Oh, wow. So why is um, thunder rejection is for your protection? Black tourmaline, divine timing. This wealthy man came right back in. So I feel like with this baby, baby don't cry and thunder rejection is for your protection. For some of you all. I do feel like this is what's hidden in the energy. And I feel like, you know, maybe in the past, you know, that past person um, that rejected you is literally they're feeling, you know, somewhat like you've moved on to something bigger and better. Something that's out of their league. They can't match that. And I feel like with you all. This thunder clapping, somebody who has their eyes on you. This person in the past, maybe this person in the past was very focused on perhaps their finances. Um, maybe this was someone that you knew in the past um, and y'all kind of separated or disconnected and they rejected you because they was focused on their, their coins. Um, maybe I feel like there is a sense that someone could be coming back. Um, to communicate because it says thunder clapping, uh, prepare, take shelter. So when you take shelter, this is about, you know, this is about protecting yourself. And then we also have the black tourmaline. So this is also speaking to protection. So maybe someone could be coming back um, and they could be um, confessing something, speaking something to you. Um, expressing something that you may not have known. He does have like a grin on his face and he does seem to be watching you. Um, on the bottom of the deck, we got change. Someone could have changed their mind um, about a situation. Maybe someone is returning. I'm getting five of cups energy where someone could have left you out in the cold and then now during Mercury retrograde, someone could be returning and this is someone that could have re rejected you in the past. Um, this is for select few. I'm here, not most of you. Majority of you, we already know that this is the person, you know, someone new that's coming in is someone you don't even know their name. But for some of you, I'm getting a message that this could be someone that you may have had a lot of um, uh, chemistry with initially, but this person could have rejected you because they still were attached to someone else. And so they rejected you so that they could try to repair a relationship with someone that they had already been in a connection with. And maybe you had high expectations um, of something, but things ended. And so instead of sitting around sulking and crying and boohooing and self-loathing, um, you took that work internal and you started to heal yourselves and started to, you know, you know, take accountability and onus and responsibility for your feelings and your actions. Um, therefore, now that's making you more attractive because you're learning how to love yourselves. You're learning how to set healthy boundaries. You're learning what your love language is. And you're also setting your standards higher. So now this person could be doubling back because maybe someone has changed their mind. Maybe something within their relationship, their connection has changed and it's forcing them to reflect on everything, to look back um, and see. And I feel like the divine is telling you to, you know, trust what you feel. Um, so why is go deeper? Let me get one more card. Why is this wealthy man here? See, poverty. So, wow. So now... Oh, the, the plot thickens. So what happens is someone went from lavish, from riches to rags. It's almost like this person, someone that rejected you, when they were with you, I feel like they had it all. Things were stable. Things were balanced. And I feel like when they left, they received some sort of karma. And that's why I was picking up like, um, 
I was feeling like because, you know, the, the dots are connecting. Like th this person got, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting a sense that someone got used for their money. Someone was being used. They got caught up in some sort of um, situation where because, you know, things were very stable. Obviously, you know, you and this person could have um, planted root seeds um, and had a family and think this person was very successful and abundant. And now it's like this person is, you know, struggling financially. They could have lost a job. You know, they could be kind of like in a situation. But look now with this marriage card here. You know, it's like they, they, they receive, I'm hearing karma, you know, I'm hearing that someone received some sort of karma because this says rejection is for your protection. And then what we have here playing is happily ever after. And I'm holding this marriage card. So someone is, is, is really feeling it because they, they, they're going to have these regrets, remorse and shame because they're going to watch you be courted and, you know, come into a spiritual union some sort of marriage with someone else and it's because you know this person made a decision to leave you for something someone else something that they thought was gold and it was glitter something that they thought was you know going to be a better option and um, I feel like what happened was they got bamboozled they got duped they got taken for everything they got and now they're struggling financially but when they were with you they had everything you had high expectations these are both reducing to to 10. So I feel like, you know, for you all, you're receiving some sort of um, great fortune, some sort of wish fulfillment, because as I said, you're being recognized and rewarded for your, for the efforts you took to become a better you. Whereas this person is also getting a, a dose of um, karma for the way that they may have mistreated you. The, the This 37 reduces to 10. So someone is going through some really, really difficult times here. And I feel like it's, it's more so because they're sitting back watching you uh, come into union with someone getting married. Um, so why is Go Deeper? You haven't scratched the surface. Love that self in the number seven here for what's um, in the outcome for Scorpios. And we have um, Juicy Fruit. And uh, this is by Matumi. So official person. So you have an official person. And then you have occupation here. So maybe you met an, uh, someone at your occupation. You met someone at your place of employment. Um, and I feel like maybe there's a strong... Um, connection trust your intuition when it comes to someone i feel like with this 22 also um that reduces to four so there is someone very stable uh this is a very official person this is someone that's very solid and this could be someone from your past this person has a lot of passion for you they're also someone who's um like i said very hush you know because this sword is face down so it's like they're, they're, this is someone that you could have met at your job and this 34 does reduce to seven so this person does um they're also very intuitive they could be born in the seventh month some of you could also be born on the 7th of november i do feel like um the two of you communicate intuitively um telepathically there's a lot of communications and that's why um you know this go deeper you haven't even scratched the surface um because maybe it says with this love that self, maybe a lot of you, uh, like I said before, you were overcompensating. Um, you were doing too much, you know, and you could have cut this person off because you felt like this person was wasn't being honest. I feel like with this juicy fruit, you're going to you're going to there's going to be some juicy information coming in. Someone could be sweet. You might find out somebody sweet on you. Somebody cares a lot about you. And with this 22, that reduces to four. And so that four is the vibration. So the same person could be coming in. You know, they're taking action. They're coming in sooner than you realize. I'm almost feeling like, you know, with this juicy fruit again. Okay, thank you. So with this juicy fruit, I was about to build or... Oh, excuse me. This, this number um, 22, which is four. You know, so that's the vibration of that 1111, which could speak of like a spiritual union. So this could be that person who was having some difficulty communicating something. For some of y'all, y'all may have met this person at your job. You know what I'm saying? You This person could be like real, um, real attracted to you and you don't even know. This is somebody that you may have worked with in the past. So you either are working still, currently working with this person. Even if you work remotely, it's like this person could be like literally like 
really attracted to you and you don't know. Um, or this could be someone that you used to work with, y'all, you know, kind of disconnected, but this person still keeps up with you, keeps tabs on you, because this is why you have that, you know, they're tuning into your channel, social media. So someone is definitely keeping tabs on you. Someone could also be born in the seventh month, like I said. So this could be like um, a cancer, um, you know, hmm. Could be a cancer, could also be like a Leo. And and she's saying you should be right here with me. So this is someone that, yeah, this, you know, and with sudden wealth, y'all, y'all are definitely coming into some abundance. Y'all are coming in. Somebody's gonna sit here and witness you have all kinds of blessings, all kinds of like wish fulfillment opportunities, and somebody's gonna be riddled with regret because they didn't see your light. They didn't see your worth when they had you. They felt, they felt you were worthless. They felt that they could even toy with your emotions, your feelings, and you would always be there until you leveled up, until you went through some form of ascension, transformation, growth. You know, you've evolved. So with this sudden wealth, this is a blessing from the divine. That 11 is speaking to the divine, showering you with wish fulfillment. The sudden wealth also could speak, like I said, to you having some sort of like you know, windfall of money through either a lotto win, sweepstakes. Some of y'all might get an unexpected, you know, check in the mail. Why is remorse, regret, shame, um, connect to your higher self and travel here for the outcome? Someone definitely is feeling a lot of regret, remorse for their actions, their behavior. And we have message of concern. So someone's receiving a message of concern and that is that you've moved on. That is, see this, this false person is receiving this message of concern. So the same person that was playing a lot of games, now they're feeling a lot of regret because they're receiving karma, you know? And this person is someone that you have created some sort of distance, space, you've detached from this person. And they, you know, you've realized or you've discovered that this person was a snake. Remember that snake song was playing by Joey Badass. So this person thought they was Billy Badass because they was playing a whole lot of games and they didn't think that you was ever going to wake up from the spell that they had you under. But you, you, you've you awakened. You know, this number eight is definitely like that energy of like someone who is very deceitful. Someone who was like, you know, pulling the veil over your eyes. Someone that was wearing a mask, hiding their hand, you know, somebody who was playing a lot of games. And I feel by you connecting to your higher self, trusting your intuition, you made a decision to move away. And with this con message of concern, this 14, that's going to reduce to 5. You know, this is also about, you know, that's literally what this thunderclapping, you know, you received some sort of message of concern. And now this person has a lot of regrets and shame, remorse. I feel like that outcome, this could be past energy. Some of y'all have already experienced this. For some of you, you may be receiving a message of concern. Somebody may be expressing something to you or with that thunderclap and that it's like unexpected news, a sudden upheaval, um, something coming to light, coming to surface, you know, the dots connecting things you already suspected are going to be confirmed and validated. And somebody that thought that they was pulling the wool over your eyes is really going to struggle. They're going to suffer from, you know, some sort of, um, karma. They're going to suffer the consequences of their actions. And it's because whatever they got caught up with, whatever attachments, you know, whatever, you know, whatever entanglements they got caught up in, that they, they, they was dealing with a false person also. Both of these people are wearing masks. So whoever your person got caught up with, you know, they were being fake with you and whoever they got connected with, they were being fake with them. So it's almost like they attracted exactly what they were, which was another immature, childish, self-absorbed energy. And now there's this message of concern. Because somebody could be coming to you saying, look, I'm struggling. Uh, I need some help. I'm about to lose my apartment. I'm about to lose my car. I can't pay my rent. Whatever the case may be, somebody is going to send you a letter of concern. And, and the divine is telling you, like, you're going to have to trust, you know, your intuition. Because this is somebody who was, you know, kind of preying on your downfall. Somebody who is not on your level, who may just resort to doing anything playing any type of games, being deceptive just to get what they want, to try to sabotage a beautiful union here that they see you are developing. 
And then we have Dear Dilla playing by Fife. And um, both Fife and Dilla um, have transcended in the spirit realm. So rising power to both of you. So it's almost like he, somebody's definitely this this dear Dilla. It's almost like somebody's sending um, like a letter just expressing their shame, you know, apologizing. You know, there goes a confirmation, the train. So this person definitely is, um, you know, feeling the distance. So they are going to send a message and, you know, she's clutching like her heart, you know, because it's like somebody's trying to, you know, they're trying to, you know, they are expressing them. I feel like they are sincere because they're, they're literally having to watch you um, move on. Uh, but I feel like they have malice intentions, malicious intention. So they may feel pain. I don't feel like they not they're not feeling this pain, this hurt. I just feel like, you know, they're being emotionally manipulative because they know that you are emotional beings, which is why the divine was telling you to connect to your higher self and trust your intuition and to go deeper because you haven't scratched the surface. So don't just allow your emotions to force you to take action, you know. Because they were also telling you, you got to love yourself. You know, you can't allow other people to um, come before your own, <clears throat> before you. So let's go ahead and get some messages from, <clears throat> my throat is blocking again. So we have um, blossoming abundance. So that's a double confirmation, a triple confirmation that y'all have some sort of financial, some sort of financial blessings coming in. And we just, I just saw family, happy family. Yeah, you are coming into a, there's a marriage taking place. I feel y'all are going to get married because you have an official person here. You have someone official, someone who's really going to uh, treat you right. Because remember, treat me right was playing by Chubb Rock. Somebody's going to send you a letter of love. They're going to be very honest, transparent. And I feel like because you have someone that's coming in the right way, so you're going to have somebody coming in trying to sabotage that. So we got journey, caring connections, anxiety, man holding a coin, all tied up, angel of love. So you see the mixed signals here. So this is two people. So the person that's trying to keep, keep you stuck is the person that's going to give you this message. Now see thunder clapping, right? The thunder, you can see behind the scenes, there's a lot of thunder, there's lightning striking, you know what I'm saying? There's like a storm, and it says, um, prepare, take shelter. So this person that's, you know, going to message you, I feel like it's like um, emotional manipulation, as I was just saying. And it's only to keep you stuck and stagnant. Remember that stuck and stagnant card showed up during the pre-shuffle, or during the, um, yeah, the pre-shuffle. And then we have Poetic Justice playing by Kendrick Lamar. So this person is is trying to pin some sort of message to keep you in the space of anxiety. And this is the number eight right here um, or nine. No, this nine. So it's like they know that you're making a decision to move on, to leave a situation because it wasn't serving your highest good. But now they're trying to play on your emotional um, strings. They're trying to pull on your emotional strings. And with poetic justice, that means that they're trying to pen you a letter of concern to make you feel guilty for moving on, to keep you stuck and mentally entrapped. We got free dome here. This card is just sitting here. And it's like, it's because you have to free yourself mentally because this is someone who used gaslighting, manipulation. They were master manipulators in the past. They knew how to make you feel guilty for doing things that was best for you. And I feel like with this 23, this speaks to the changes that you've made. So that's why the divine was telling you that you have to love yourself and you have to trust your intuition when it comes to someone communicating to you because this person, yes, they may have remorse and regret and it's only for the reason of having to sit and watch you move on with your life it has nothing to do with them taking accountability, responsibility, and onus for mistreating you, um, for misbehaving you. They see the role they played, but they're feeling more frustrated because th they know that you have moved on. They know that you've chosen to, um, to go in a completely different direction. This journey card speaks to you literally doing what I just said, moving on, choosing yourselves, 
ending a situation that was not serving your highest good. Choosing to move into a space where you can not only enjoy your solitude, but you could also rediscover who you are. You know, hone skills that were lying dormant within you. Um, master your craft. Master yourself. Heal yourself. Learn to love yourselves again. Um, you know, practice healthy self-care by, you know, just being more uh, self-respecting, you know, demanding respect, uh, standing in your power. I feel that's what this energy is. And so when you learn to love yourself, what does it do? It makes you more attractive. So now you're forging a, a relationship, a connection with someone who is very much smitten by you, attracted to you, and very protective of you. It's a very beautiful um you know body language that's being displayed here because he's he's protecting her from the back so it's like he he's going to be her rock he's going to make sure she's strong um and he's also showing his love his admiration this is what you're going towards it's like you're going in the direction of new love you know somebody that speaks your love language and i feel like this person as i said is very wealthy very abundant this is that person that is absolutely um, going to match this privileged lady's fly. It's like y'all are going to speak the same love language, but y'all are also very self-sufficient independently. And when you come together, you're going to be like, you know, you're going to be that power couple. Um, other people are going to aspire to be like you all. And I feel like this person is coming in with very solid intentions, um, with very very good intentions because they're willing to invest. They want to invest long term. They believe in marriage. They believe in, you know, building a family. They believe in, you know, just cultivating and nurturing a relationship. And the angel of love is definitely speaking to your ancestors, angels, guides that are helping you to you know, develop this beautiful spiritual union. As I was picking up, I felt like they were conspiring behind the scenes. And here we have it. It says angel of love. So they have been conspiring. Remember, I was saying that four is a vibration of like a spiritual union. And this is telling me that you absolutely have someone that's coming in in divine timing. And there's no perfect time than divine timing. So you have someone trying to sabotage this. And shit try to keep you up in your head. You see how the anxiety and then this, you know, all tied up. But if you look at her head, it's like there's a lot going on underneath that. And it's because someone is hiding um, their true intentions. And they're going to do so by trying to play some sort of manipulative games emotionally. And so with this temple path, choose the temple path. Choose a path that's going to free you up, you know. And so we have Mystic Man here by Peter Tosh. So, yeah, so you trust. And what was I saying about mystery, uh, mysteriousness? Someone finds you very mysterious. And it's that person that is very, like, smitten, attracted, um, you know, very much, you know, finds you to be very dapper, very debonair, very, you know, very much have your stuff together. This is beautiful. And so with this 12, I feel like your angels, your ancestors, they're conspiring to bring the spiritual union into uh, fruition for you. I see these beautiful orbs of light uh, as being like your your guides, your angels, kind of guiding you on this path. You you are being led to like marriage, um, and it's because you've learned a lot. And so we have here owl. So definitely wise dome that represents wise dome. I feel like you've seen a lot. You've learned a lot. The eyes are also the windows to the soul. So I feel like you know for you all, um, you know, use your first eyes to see. You know, trust your intuition also always. Um, I do feel like, you know, you also are um, paying close attention, you know, to people's actions now. You know, like you're trusting your intuition more than ever. Uh, and it's because you're now speaking and you speak energy now. So you could, you could speak, you know, you could read through people's, you know, the illusions that people are trying to paint for you. So we got a card that flipped over. And so we have them vampire energy vampire. So this says emotional intelligence. So for many of you, you was dealing with, um, I feel like that's what you are attracting is someone who's going to be very emotionally intelligent. Um, this is someone that I feel you're going to trust your intuition. Uh, the underworld where all things pause and begin again. 
So yeah, a lot was being hidden from you, but everything, you know, that's, you know, what's in the dark comes to light, what's in the rinse comes out in the wash, you know, um, so it's like, or what's in the wash comes out in the rinse. So I feel like you definitely have, um, you know, a sense of a better understanding of someone that's emotionally intelligent, like you know what you want, that's what you're attracted to, and that's what this person is attracted to by you, because it says mystic man, so I do feel like you're you're attracting someone that's literally a mirror reflection of you and i feel like this person that has been hiding these things and it says where all things pause and begin again the underworld so if this is someone from your past if this is someone um with whom you had like this you know this runner chaser dynamic um even if it was in a past life i feel like y'all about to come to head like there's about to be a come you know you're about to have uh it's about to come to the surface. Like it's about to come to um, to a head here, you know. And that could be why that thunder was clapping. But with this moon, I feel like during the full moon, you're gonna discover some things. By uh, spirit of love and light, you also could realize that you was dealing with a lot of, you know, energy vampires as well. I'm using the uh, Halloween Oracle deck right now. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages? So that was your bonus message, emotional intelligence. And we have midnight. And it says um, the most magical hour of all. And so what was I saying earlier with that ritual invocation card? Um, somebody could have been manipulating energy. So just be mindful because this could be that, you know, that person that is because uh, this is like that vampire and then you have this midnight card and I was telling you during witching hours people could be like manipulating energy trying to invoke some sort of energy or trying to bind or separate or freeze some sort of energy so just be mindful of that and I just shuffled that card right back in there let me find it I don't know what I was doing there it is so midnight so protect yourselves, because remember, I was picking up on that energy earlier, where some of you may be finding yourselves waking up between 12 and like 5 a.m., and that's because somebody could be like manipulating your energy. That also could be someone who could be manifesting you, calling you in, um, attract, you know, like, like I said, like sex rituals, sex magic, maybe somebody is, and see, it could be that person that is having difficulty communicating with you. This cursed person could be having like full on conversations in their mind, you know, or what they're going to say. And this is that mystic man. This is that man. So for feminines, I feel like this is a masculine that's trying to trying to come in. I do feel like y'all have a strong um, intuitive bond connection. So we have eternal love. Love is love is love. That's my throat, my slogan. I love it. I love this card whenever it comes out. And it says it transcends physical death. So your ancestors absolutely love you. It, and they love you beyond measure. And with this angel of love, you are definitely loved. You are protected. And you will have a spiritual union. Your divine ancestors are bringing someone into you. And it says forgiveness. It says reducing burden. So show forgiveness even if this person, like, it's like you got to hate. <clears throat> you even got to, like, not hate. You got to love those that hate on you. Because, you know, you got to transmute their negative energy and you got to transmute it into something more powerful for yourselves. Hate can't, you know, hate can't, um, can't destroy hate. Only love can destroy hate. So it's like, you know, forgiveness is a form of love. And it's a form of self-love. You know, when you hold on to regret, animosity, that's when you're in your low vibration and you haven't learned that. We're all here to learn lessons. We're all having, you know, a human experience as spiritual beings. And some people, you know, are in a lower vibration or still stuck in their trauma and haven't begun all of the spiritual work that you have done so they still stuck in a space and there was a time where you were there you know and that's why this 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 dark night of the soul journey is a very important journey you know this is why it says that temple path i feel like a lot of y'all have um it's like you've come into some sort of power because with that temple path it feels like y'all have been like um initiated you know, whenever you see these arches and archways and pillars, I feel like you have become initiated to being like healer, shaman, light worker. When you are, you know, when you are traumatized or when you go through something painful, you have to heal yourselves. In healing yourselves, that makes you healers. 
when you learn difficult lessons, karmic lessons from those who come into your life to teach you those lessons, whether in energy vampires, narcissists, uh, cheaters, liars, deceivers, snakes, um, you have to, you know, go from becoming that student learning from that experience to now becoming the teacher. Now you have to teach them how to be, which is why you're, ex you know, you have evolved and ascended to a higher version, a more stronger version of yourselves. And we have jagged edge, true man. So that's why you're attracting a true man, a true woman to you. And I feel like this is, like I said, uh, uh, it could be past life love, but I also feel like your ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to bring someone into you. And this person that's coming in is someone that's going to love you and treat you right. This is a true man, a true woman. And so we have here Lakshmi. And I did call upon Mama Lakshmi during the pre-shuffle. And we have Kali, endings and beginnings. So this is confirmation. You all have completed a cycle. And you've gone through you know, many life changes. You've experienced many life changes, sudden upheavals. But you've mastered them. You know, when you reach that world card, it definitely speaks to self-mastery. It speaks to you learning how to navigate certain experiences. You've learned that you are magical beings, alchemists, magicians, that you can change your circumstances just by merely changing the way that you think. And I feel like you've manifested a true man and a true woman, a real man, a real woman to you. So this is powerful. So divine spirit of love and light, what messages you have for our beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck, and you have cycles and rhythms. So it says, honor the cycles and rhythms, and that's what you all did. You knew something was over. You knew it was time for you to walk away from someone, something, from people, places, things that were not honoring you. So you may have purged these things, cut them off. Because that's why this person is a little intimidated, because they know you're very protective of your energy. They know that you could speak energy, so they know that you're going to know right off the bat what they're feeling, thinking, what their intentions are. And I feel like for many of you, a lot of you are, you know, for me, that's why I took that little break. Because I was feeling my energy levels kind of depleted. I was feeling fatigued. I was feeling very lethargic. So I had to take that time out. And that's what I feel like the divine is telling you to do. Trust your intuition. Trust the downloads that you're receiving. And also pay attention to the divine interventions, the nudges, the confirmations. And also trust what you're feeling emotionally. You know, speak energy. Because if something doesn't sit right in your spirit, you should not do it. So divine spirit, let's get a message for our beloved Scorpios. From the goddess guiding spec, the divine spirit of love and light. Thank you, spirit. What did I say? Y'all were gonna expect a miracle, like you receive a miracle, some sort of wish fulfillment. Mother Mary is blessing you all with a miracle, and Mama Yemenya, and I did call upon Mama Yemenya, beautiful Mama Yemenya, is also blessing you with golden opportunities. So this is because you all have honored, you've already honored the cycles and rhythms, which means that you've already ended something, walked away, chose yourselves, healed decided to move on and so now there's a miracle because your prayers and your petitions have been heard mama mother mary and all of your angels have been conspiring behind the scenes to bring in new love new opportunities for you and the divine is telling you simply have faith and trust that what you've been asking for calling in what wanting and desiring is here for you this is a beautiful reading scorpios y'all are on the on the money and with Yemen y'all golden doors of opportunity these doors are opening up and it's up to you to walk through them nobody can force you to do that so I feel like it they're, they're reminding you that you have free will so if somebody comes back and and they're trying to you know entice you or emotionally manipulate you you cannot get back on that 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 ferris wheel you not you cannot go back down that rabbit hole you cannot get back in, you know, go back into that labyrinth maze and, and get stuck on, you know, stupid or get stuck and stagnant again. Because, yes, somebody may have remorse, regret and shame, but it, I don't feel it's, it's coming from a place of them wanting to be better because the child's play in maturity is still here. And then that card that said second childhood, um, you know, they're not on your level is also speaking to the fact that this person and you on two different wavelengths. That's okay. It doesn't mean you're any better or any they're any worse than you. It just means that that's not your person. The person that's your person is who this door of opportunity is open for. That's why the divine was telling you, be receptive. You know, 
walk through the doors of opportunity. You have inner, inner goddess here, Aphrodite. So that definitely is uh, speaking to you. You know, that's about self-care, self-respect, self-love, embracing your sexuality, your sensuality, also honing your skills, your gifts, being creative. That's a feminine energy. But this is also a, a, a divine energy, a divine feminine or divine masculine energy because the divinity of the divine feminine masculine is to create. So there's a rebirth. There's like some a birthing of something new here. So we have here, um, get in touch with us. And this is um, little Kim. And then we have effort. So that's on the bottom of the deck. And when we split it, we got pride. So someone's pride did not allow them to make the effort, you know, and I feel like their pride, they're going to swallow, they, someone may be trying to swallow their pride. Somebody's going to try to make more of an effort. I'm hearing, um, you know, um, some, someone have, it's like someone needs an ego death. I have spirit of love and light. This is going to be a long one because I feel like I owe y'all. Uh, a nice extended read, you know, on uh, Spirit of Love and Light. It may exceed two hours. We're going to see. We're going to see what comes in, goes out, goes on. I do want to get some oracle messages. I do feel it's imperative. And one more. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. So, yeah, I, I, I do feel like with Get in Touch with Us, um, and then, um, this is by little Kim. Yeah. Somebody may try to get in touch with you, but we do hear, um, have here. What is this? It says parenting. So parenting, this message co keeps coming out for y'all parenting and the 63 reduces to nine. So there's this, there's, there's something changing and I feel has a lot to do with communication. Something's coming to light. Maybe y'all are going to find out somebody is a new parent. Somebody that you have a child with. You're going to find out they're expecting a new baby. You got abundance on the bottom of the deck. So y'all have definitely been manifesting like crazy. You got new opportunities, new abundance, new success coming in for you. Financial freedom. This is a beautiful energy. A lot of y'all have been manifesting new things. And you've persevered through some very um, negative times. You've persevered through some really difficult times. And I feel like that's why, you know, through you practicing healthy self-care, self-love, putting you first, putting your needs, wants, and desires first, and also doing what was necessary, healing at a soul level, you have this abundance. And we got um, Shaka Khan, sweet thing. So I do feel like, you know, with this sweet thing, you, you do, maybe someone definitely with this parenting is going to come in and help you co-parent if you are single parents. The 63 reduces to 9. So maybe there's something changing in the fact, uh, you know, in the parenting, um, in, in, in your co-parenting situation. You know, maybe somebody is going to make more of an effort if you haven't had much of a help. Or maybe somebody's coming in, the sweet thing, you know, that this new person is going to take that role of, you know, of the stepmom or the stepdad. They're going to help you with the parenting. You know, this is somebody that's going to be like very, um, I feel like they're going to be influential, positively so. You know, they're going to be very verbal, they're gonna be very communicative. You know, if you have a young uh, a son, you know, and this masculine comes in, they're going to they're gonna take on that role as a father very seriously. They're going to be like a ray of light. They're going to they're going to bring in wisdom. You know, they're going to impart wisdom and knowledge to that child. They're not just going to look at it like that's your child, that's your responsibility. They're going to be very um, proactive, very um, involved. Some of you may have a child that's six years old, three years old, nine years old. Some of you could be the child of a 36-year-old. We also have um, patience. So good things take time to create. That's that divine timing energy as well. Many of you have been very patient with the other parent if there is some sort of conflict but you know between the two of you. I feel like the patience is because you because you 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 have a very loving, empathic and compassionate soul. 
and I feel like you know that someone um, struggles, you know, someone struggles with their ability to communicate. Maybe they are um, not as emotionally available for the children or they're not as uh, expressive or, uh, uh, you know, communicative. Like they don't communicate effectively with the children and you've been very patient. But I feel like, you know, the divine is telling you, especially with, you know, that energy of, um, you know, the Aphrodite energy, uh, which is that that um, divine feminine energy. I do feel like for many of you, you got to practice self-care. So creating boundaries, creating space might be necessary. Parting ways, making a decision to just, you know, to not have expectations. Maybe you are expecting someone to do better, to do right by their, their child, and instead they're trying to... Um, they're trying to use the child as a pawn to bring drama. And we have um, Tupac, only God can judge me. And so the divine is telling you, like, you know, maybe this person um, is, like I said, you know, that maybe this is that past person, the child's play immaturity, and that same person who has regret and shame and remorse, they're now seeing the role they played, you know, um... And maybe you've judged them. Maybe you've, you know, questioned their sanity even at times. But the divine is saying only God could judge them. Let the, the karma is, in other words, let karma deal with them. You've been patient. I feel like, you know, it's also telling you, like, practice patience. Patience is a form of action. So, you know, disconnect, disengage. You don't have to entertain. And we have synchronicity here. So, you know, pay attention to the signs and synchronicities. I also feel like, you know, there is someone that's going to come in that's going to um, treat you right, treat you better, do right by you. That's going to be a good role model. You know, there's going to be like a, a alpha male or an alpha female, very nurturing feminine energy or very masculine energy. Um, very healthy, you know, very, very healthy for the children. And with this 87, you know, that reduces to six, uh, 15, which is 6. So there's something coming in that's harmonizing um, a connection. It's like it's, it's, it's gluing it together. And that this, you know, this, this definitely speaks to like in terms of the heart, the heart matter, the heart of the matter. So pay attention to signs, synchronicities, angel numbers. Pay attention to songs. Maybe there's songs. Like I said, only God can judge me. So that means like, you know, um, be more compassionate. Because remember, trust, you know, forgiveness, that's a form, you know, that's that's for you rather. So forgive those who have done wrong by you. Don't stay stuck in that, that space emotionally because that could keep you from your blessings, block your blessings, delay your blessings. We have um, adventure. Someone's coming in that's going to bring more adventure, more excitement into your life. And it's because you've practiced self-love, self-care. I feel like a lot of you are seeking more adventure. You know, you're seeking more things that are going to pull at your heartstrings. And we have health. You know, so with this health card, I feel it's focusing more like on the, the mental health. That 71 is also reducing the 8. So it's like, you know... That eight is the infinity symbol. The infinity symbol is the divine symbol. So I do feel like there's infinite possibilities. But I also feel like, you know, definitely, um, you know, there's some form of like wish fulfillment. Somebody could also be struggling mentally. You know, someone's struggling mentally to listen to their intuition. That's why the divine is saying like, you know, connect to your higher self. Someone is definitely not connected, disconnected. It's like there's self-deception delusion illusion and I feel like it's because you're focusing on you now self-love makes you more attractive and so this this um, and, and I'm focusing on the mind because this is purple and that is the color of the crown chakra and that 71 does reduce to eight so I do feel like you know with that eight that does speak to you know some form of of um, wish fulfillment someone seeing you as a star uh, someone feeling like they, you know, missed an opportunity even. 
you know, this is also about you healing, grounding yourself, practicing healthy self-care, taking your power back, uh, co-creating with source, you know, tapping into your intuition, speaking those prayers, petitions, affirmations into the ethers and manifesting your dreams and desires. In the bottom of the deck, we had that abundance. So for many of you, I feel like your financial health, your financial situation is definitely going to improve. And we're going to get some messages here. We got a gift. So you are receiving a gift. This is like, I don't even know how many confirmations that is. And then we have song. So that could be your greatness. Your gift is your gift of song. I feel like there's also, you know, a peace of mind, a piece of uh, serenity that comes from that. So we have uh, the fun card and we have dream here. So I feel like, you know, um, a dream is something more than you wake up from. That's one of my cards that's coming to me. And I feel like you, you, you have been dreaming long enough. It's time to take action. You know, maybe you're dreaming about something that's um, bringing more excitement into your life. You're dreaming of someone to do that. We do have the adventure here. And then we have fun. So I feel like y'all are are literally going to start um, being more daring, being more uh, spontaneous, you know, not being so regimented, not being so prude, you know, like, but really taking, you know, just taking your, taking the, like, taking those opportunities, to just have fun, you know, just, just go out, get dirty, go, go, you know, um, what do you call that? The uh, paint, um, the paint, um, you know, doing um, the sipping paints, um, even doing the painting um, guns, the paint guns, going and having those um, activities, but just being more fun. Maybe you're painting in your homes, you know, and, and you're just kind of finding the fun in life again. You know, you're just finding it to be more fun. And maybe some of you painting is, you know, one of your dreams. Maybe you are discovering what your dreams are. Pay attention to your dreams. You know, pay attention to your dreams. You have sovereign, sovereign um, tea here. So it is uh, for many of you, it, you, you have a, your soul's mission and your divinity is uh, to be a healer, a, a shaman, a light worker. You have some sort of divine knowledge that you are to utilize to help heal others. And I feel like your angels, your ancestors are reminding you. They're giving you daily reminders. Even with your mental health. That's why they're trying to give you, you know, some signs and synchronicities to um, to strengthen, you know, your mental health. Which is why they were telling you to connect to your higher self. To meditate. To ground yourselves. To protect yourself psychically. Because people can come in and manipulate your emotions, your feelings, your thoughts. And with this here, it says all tied up. And so this immediately makes me think of, you know, some form of um, ritual work or invocation. Someone doing something to cause confusion, to cause fogginess. And so with this 71, like I said, and this purple, you know, this is speaking to you like protecting that by all means. Solitude, time alone is really going to send to you, ground you. You already have the keys to knowledge. Now it's time to apply them, you know. Let me get one more message for our beloved Scorpios. And then we're going to wrap it up. So divine spirit, love and light. What messages? So we got a couple messages here. And so we have cleanse. So clean, clear, cleanse your space, your energetic space. Cleanse your home. Cleanse your crystals. Smudge your home. I feel like the divine is telling you to declutter. To purge, get rid of things you don't use, don't wear. It's, it's, it's time for that, especially before you close out this year. And during this full moon, I feel like there's going to be some clarity, some truth. There's going to be some form of a grand epiphany. And I feel like with this glow around this energy, you know, for some reason it's just really standing out. I feel like this is really going to like... Um, fortify your protective um your protective shield if you will also for some of you you might need to wrap up your hair you know your hair is your antennas so you may need to wrap up your hair um 
and definitely never leave your necks exposed always put like anointing oils or protective oils um, behind your neck right at the the um, top of your spine always do that I don't know why that just came through but just definitely do that and then we have healing so many of you have been healing you've been like I said you've been really doing a lot of internal work a lot of you are still healing through this process but I do see there's growth in this healing by you practicing you know by you healing you learn to love yourselves by you learning to love yourselves you begin to know your your worth you begin to know who you are you know thyself and I feel like it's it's time to forgive those who may have done you wrong and set them free. Because she's like looking at this box and I feel like this box contains a lot of personables, a lot of items that she may have kept. Maybe letters, maybe pictures. And it's like it's, she's healing. But in order for her to heal, maybe there's a need to do like a release ceremony. Releasing those things. Finally letting it go. Because she's, she's it's like clutching to this. You know, she's clutching to this box which contains these things. And maybe that's why the divine is reminding you, like, now it's time to find fun and adventure. Because you've been on this journey for a long time. Like, you've literally been, been you know, going through this journey for some of y'all for the past three to five years. Just healing. See? Adventure came out twice. It's time for you to seek adventure. Many of you are embarking on a whole new um, voyage, you know. You're embarking on a brand new voyage and I feel like with soldier here you've been a soldier you you've literally been a soldier this is uh by Ivor Badu so you've been a soldier a lot of you have really you know you've laced up your bootstraps and you have went on this journey and you have encountered every pitfall every challenge every burden every block every disappointment but you've overcame and you've persevered Remember, perseverance is right underneath abundance. And that's why I said a lot of you are going to receive some sort of reward because the divine has taken note to all of the work. You know, a lot of you have um, implemented some discipline in your lives and your and also self-care, self-love, self-worth. And we have here shadow. So many of you have been doing that shadow work. And by you doing your shadow work, that has now giving you the opportunity to balance the two, to balance yourselves, you know, when you are unaware of that shadow side, of that dark side of yourself, you don't really know um, what some of your hangups are, what some of those um, negative behaviors or toxic behaviors are that can hold you back or block blitzings. But when you do that shadow work, you're, you're looking face to face. That's why that, that, um, that card, what was that card that showed up? And it was telling you to, you know, to uh, connect. Yeah, you know, to connect to your higher self. Because that's where you get all the downloads. You know, you receive. That's where, you know, go deeper. You don't. You haven't even scratched the surface. So when you do that internal work, it does render you more, you know, it renders you stronger and fully capable of overcoming anything. But you have wish fulfillment, miracles, you have opportunities, you have great fortune coming in for you. There's new adventures with this time clock here. It shows you that all of this that has been happening is happening in divine timing, right on time. And I feel like you're going in the right direction. And this new voyage, this new journey is going to make you stronger. I feel like you're going to be divinely protected regardless. I feel like you have new love coming in. I feel like you're also, um, you know, you're finalizing uh, a chapter, you know, a karmic lesson, a karmic chapter. And um, someone is going to be really disappointed and hurt. But this is about you living your truth. That's why you have the card that is reminding you to love thyself. And loving thyself means you put you first. You put your needs first, you know. Because I feel that past person didn't appreciate you. They didn't even know the gem, the rare gem that they had. And but you knew and you discovered it. That's why you said you had to honor the, you know, the the um, cycles and rhythms of your own body. And so for many of you, you have gone on this new journey. You've traveled. You've moved away. You've um, released someone energetically, emotionally, mentally. And I feel like that's what's allowing for new love, new opportunities to come in. And more importantly, new you know, abundance, stability, success. And it's because your angels have um, definitely conspired to bring this person in for you. 
But you all have um, very beautiful energy, Scorpios. This has been a beautiful reading. It is my pleasure to deliver this message to you. I am very strongly feeling like you have a spiritual union that is forging. And this person is absolutely watching you from a distance. Um, they see you as very strong. They see you as a go-getter. They see you as someone who knows their worth, their value. They're very attracted to you um, mentally. Uh, spiritually, I feel the two of you, there's going to be a very strong synergetic connection, chemistry. Um, for some of you, you may have met this person in passing um, because I get a sense that some of you may know this person. But for most of you, I feel like this is someone that doesn't, you don't even know their name. So this is a stranger. Uh, this is a secret admirer because we have their tuning into your channel. Uh, social media driving by your home so this could be someone that lives in your neighborhood someone that you work with this could be someone that just have um, you know discovered you online through social media um, but you do have a secret admirer Myra I feel that ex that past person um, even some of the people in your inner circles you might need to do some assessment you might need to look at things from a bird's eye view just to see who's who what is what because for many of you you have outgrown a lot of those connections and these individuals are um, looking at you uh, with a little bit of contempt, envy, jealous and malice, especially with the song um, Snake playing by Joey Badass. So it's almost as if like um, whatever, you know, you're doing, it's almost as if they feel like this competitive energy because we did have they hate what they can not duplicate show up during a pre shuffle. And I am feeling like you know, something you're doing, some skills that you're mastering, um, you being you, you being great um, is is causing someone uh, to be very jealous, very envious because we have here, um, you know, hone your gifts. And so I feel like a lot of you are uh, tapping into some sort of divine ability, um, you know, whether it may be singing. Some of you may be singing songs, writing songs, creating music. Uh, because I did see the song during the pre-shuffle with the um, Awakened Soul deck. Uh, but some there, there's a level of jealousy. And I feel like it's because you're not focused on the problems anymore. You're focused on the solutions. Which is you becoming a better version of yourself. And mastering yourself. And not focusing on anyone, anything other than you. Um, but this is powerful, Scorpios. Um, I hear a cardinal. I hear a crowd, cardinal outside. So many of you may be seeing cardinals. Cardinals are those beautiful red birds. Um, and those, if you see the red cardinals, um, they're red and brown. So if you see the red ones, those are masculine energies in the spirit realm that could be, you know, kind of guiding you. Because remember, you have sovereignty. So it's almost as if your angels, ancestors are kind of reminding you, um, you know, that you have a great uh, a purpose here. And so a lot of you are tapping into that divinity of, you know, creation, whatever that may be. Um, but you may be seeing those red cardinals because they're guiding you on your path, reminding you of your purpose. That could be, a, you know, a father figure, uh, a grandfather, uncle, brother, because that's the masculine energy. That red cardinal, the brown is a feminine. So if you have a mother, a grandmother, a grand, um, you know, an aunt, sister, you know, a sibling, cousin, whatever, um, they could be communicating to you, like giving you these downloads remember you are receiving downloads transmissions and that's why the divine was really instructing you to meditate and to ground yourselves and to connect uh, but this is very beautiful um and don't forget your dreams you have every ability to you know to make your dreams a reality there's something more than something you wake up from that's why they're telling you to hone that skill but thank you for tuning and tapping in until next time i'll share